they're barbecued. Someone told me about these two appliances on the side of the road and that barbecue, so I raced out here and then I just started finding stuff along the way. That guy he gave me, uh, invited me into his garage and he gave me this heavy duty, it looks like a stamper, and then a little jack and these two uh, lawn tractor batteries. And, and then I found that in his garbage. And he also gave me these blocks. There's uh, six of them, six of these concrete blocks that are looking like they're brand new and then I pulled that I've got some weird gunk in the bottom of it but I pulled that out of its garbage and then there's a dandelion puller and that's a good name Discars so I'm thinking that's gonna be an expensive little tool and then there's some other aluminum scooter there they're good stuff and check out what's here at the drop-off bin. Alright, that is a pile of plastic. I'm guessing that's part of the air compressor that someone dropped off here the other day. Alright, looks like an all-in one. All-in, no, just a TV. Oh, it is a DVD player. So I think you have a DVD player, TV combo. That's kind of cool. 2006. Now this, this computer I'm told is empty. Well, it's not, not quite empty. Yeah, looks like we got it all there. Hard drive, CPU, RAM. Right on, and a little microwave. No plate. I think sometimes people will take the plate out on purpose, thinking that the plate isn't metal, can't be recycled, but I do like the microwave plates for resale. My last video where I was going around on garbage day collecting scrap and other stuff, there was three banker boxes that I picked up and it was full of office supplies. Uh, I didn't show you in that video what they were full of, but it was just mainly stuff like this. So it's lots of software, and other stuff that I want to show you. It's pretty neat. This thing here, these are, this is two copies, they're identical. Uh, Microsoft Office Home and Student from 2010. So that's pretty old software. It is from nine years ago. Anyways, the CD is in there and there's a product uh, activation key inside of there as well. Now I want to show you how much these things sell for. Now these ones here are new and sealed. But you can see here we got like over two hundred dollars. There's two hundred, one hundred and fifty, and then you got shipping on top of that. So you see the price has gone down by quite a bit. But these are new, or sorry, these ones are used, and but they still have the activation key and everything like that in them. Who knew that this old software uh, is still selling? So I guess people will use that if they're run still running on, you know, this will work on Vista. XP and Windows 7. So I already made a listing for these two. Um, one listing, quantity of two. I'm going to try and sell it for $70 each plus shipping. Uh, Mac Snow Leopard software operating system and a couple of other uh, CDs that go along with it. And there's some, actually some Apple, whoops, almost dropped it. And there's actually some Apple stickers in, in there as well. So I'm selling that together. It's not as it's not very much, but I'm going to try. I already made a list, a draft listing for that. Uh, it's twenty-five dollars. This is a product box here. I'm going. 
I don't really know that company, so I'm just going to look it up and see if uh, if I can if if that may be something someone wants because I know if people often look for these boxes when they're trying to resell um, a used item that they have. And some other things that I from those boxes there is just a couple of power cords that I need a couple of power cables down here for testing out stuff and there's a copy of Windows 7 Home Premium and I'll be able to sell that for sure. It has the product code and the CD in there. I also found a little watch. Phasar. It's Phasar. Uh, it's probably not worth anything, but again, I'll just check it out. I have a little Ziploc bag of watches, so it's just a bag of watches that I'm... Uh, that I'm keeping for resale and uh, I'll probably bring some of them to the to the flea market this year big load of scrap today I got barbecue from the other day all these microwaves that I kind of scrapped out a little bit I took like transformers out and some other parts from them but yeah those two appliances washer and dryer and some other scraps that's a good decent load of scrap steel I also have four milk crates of these batteries from the battery backup units that I bought from an auction. So I have those to bring in and then there's two batteries down there, little uh, lawn tractor batteries. So that's going to be over a hundred bucks for sure. And hopefully this all is uh, at least 60 bucks, my usual money that I make from scrap steel. It's usually about 60 bucks. That didn't take me very long to go and come back. I made 110 from the batteries and uh, it was 63 for the scrap steel so I have to I just came back home because uh, my shop while I was there my shop sent me a text and said that there's some scrap for me to pick up so oh, oh, throw that in there I just uh, came back home to pick that up there's another one there at my shop that is completely full so I, we just rotate. I take the one that's full and I drop off the one that's empty. And so that's the way we've been doing it in the last little while. It works out most of the time. Sometimes my shop, like I'll go leave the house with a truck full of scrap and I don't have room for this. In that case, I just take the one that's there. I just dump it out into the truck. I have to take out those milk crates. And uh, I want to get back home and enjoy some of this beautiful day we're having. Finally, nice weather. Oh my gosh, what is going on here today? Oh, there's a trailer? And what the heck is that? This is getting crazy, guys. Let's go take a look. Well, my truck is full. Holy crap, what is this thing? I can't... I'm speechless right now. I am... <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to do with this? What is this? What the heck is this thing? It's a gigantic printer. Holy. And a trailer? Oh my god. <laughs> Free. Holy crap. Unbelievable. Alright. What is this? That looks like part of the printer. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Okay. A bunch of stuff in there. Probably more parts for that printer. Let's see here. I don't know what's in there. I'm not... I'm kind of overwhelmed. A whole bunch of this ink is everywhere. It's a nice little unit. What's that? Or a tuner. All right. Well, that's crazy. Okay. <sighs> Maybe I can put it in the back of this and then carry this home. I don't even know if this is roadworthy. I mean, obviously someone got it here. pretty rough, but I mean, that's what I'll have to do. Oh, look at all this ink everywhere. All I have to do is go home, get my hitch, come back here, 
Oh my god, look at this thing. It's a bloody mess. Alright, I'm back. I got the hitch on. And I think that's the smallest ball I have, which is should be this trailer. The only problem is, I realized as I was driving down the road, I forgot to take my license plate off the hitch lift, which is always a pain. I always seem to forget that. So if ever came to get pulled over by the cops, I would have a little bit of explaining to do. I, wish I should really get a, you know, put on maybe up here or on the bumper. So I'm gonna try to put this on. It's right beside this grocery store dumpster. And oh man, it smells so bad. The, you know, you put I, you put your tires through it, and you bring it. It's the you bring the smell home with you. Also brought some chain with me, and then all my pins and other hardware. I don't have any lights for this trailer. So I'm just gonna be taking uh, taking the back roads home. Well, the trailer hooked up nicely. I already tried it out. It's not gonna try to yank up on it. It's not gonna go anywhere. I hooked it up, uh, hooked the lights up for whatever that's worth, and I doubled up the chain because I don't trust the chains that were on it. They look, they look pretty weak and rotted. So I doubled up the chains. The only problem I'm having right now is this tire's flat. Look at that. So what I'll do is I'll bring it to the gas station just down the road, fill it up, and then come back and load up that. Okay, so I just decided to come all the way back home, dragging it all the way home. It uh, had held out. The, the gas station in town, it's a bit awkward because there's a, uh, there's a beer store and the gas, the air pump is right beside the front door. And so I would have to like kind of back in and there's just so many people coming and going. I, I waited there for a while, hoping it would clear out, but then I decided, oh, what the heck, I'll just go all the way home. I called up a couple of buddies in town, but uh, they didn't, uh, they weren't home. So dragged it all the way back. Uh, you got the usual rust on it, but I don't see anything broken. The leaf springs are still attached and everything. Cool. A little spare. That's pretty flat too. I guess it's a bit of a dump trailer too here. But he has all tie wrapped together. Huh. Put a little piston on that. And there you go. I got yourself a little dump trailer. <laughs> Back on it. So you can just pull this thing straight up. I tried to put a new bulb in it tail light is blinking this one is not no i just can't even get the thing out I just finished pumping it up we're sitting at uh, what are we about 45 psi yep 45 psi and i don't hear any leaks i'm guessing it's like a slow air leak probably like a sidewall slow air leak and I think we're good to go. So I'm gonna use this to uh, do a little pickup right now. My neighbor, he just sent me over, just sent me a text. He says he has barbecue, a little bit of copper, and uh, some other stuff. So I'm gonna go do that right now, I'll pick that up, and I'll come back and uh, yeah, unload it, and go back to drop off bin, try to get that printer. And in that meantime, I wanna see how much PSI the tire drops. I have all this scrap in the truck, nice air conditioner from today. Three furnaces, old fashioned microwave. Those are really nice and heavy. Not very much copper today, it's just that's it. But uh, I don't mind. the prices of steel are actually pretty good. So I don't mind trying to collect it. There we go, just uh, put on, tacked on a couple pieces of steel, these magnetic lights. One there, one there. That light was actually working, but that one wasn't. So I'll go ahead with these. I'll just double check, make sure that's the right side. They should have an L and an R put on it, or a driver and, and passenger at least put on, the, like labeled it. Anyways, whatever. I'll go and get that that uh, little bit of scrap from my neighbor. I'm gonna come back and unload it. It's not a bad little trailer. This uh, tire went down by five PSI. The other one's still at 45. He gave me a barbecue. It's cast on or cast aluminum, and he gave me. There's a lid for it. He gave me a little bit of copper tubing, and a broken winch, which I think, which he said it just had like a bad, bad switch or something. Um, there's two of them here. This one is 
from a different one. We've got a 12 volt, yeah, 12 volt DC, and this is a 110. Uh, 115 AC. So see there, it's been cut. And I don't know. So yeah, maybe I'll just take it apart. Oh, it's only a 1,000 pound winch. It's not that, not that heavy duty, I guess. But uh, yeah, you know, maybe I'll just take it apart, see if I can rewire it. How many wires are in there? There's a blue, red, black, green, white. Oh dear. <laughs> Anyway, so, or just scrap, whatever. Now, for sure, I'm gonna empty this out and we're gonna get that printer. Okay, guys, all done. Got this printer in this trailer. That's a lot of free stuff in one day. <laughs> My goodness. Big printer and a big trailer for free, all in one day. Thank you, sir, Mr. Ryan Miller, for all these straps. Thank you again. I put them to good use today. And, uh, as, anyways, this one thing was massive. It was pretty hard to get into the, into the truck or into the trailer, but I did it. Um, some other good stuff that came from the drop off bin DeWalt battery charger. Probably still out for a little bit, not very much though. And, uh, some monitor, the tuner that I showed you before. Don't recognize the brand name on that. Denon. Don't recognize that name. There's another one right there. I think that's the brand name. I think that's just a cable box. And then someone also, in the time that I was gone, someone dropped off a box of Christmas lights. I threw that in there. There's a couple TVs. Yeah, you can see here I got this ink all over me, all over my shirt, all over my pants. It's pretty tough to get in here. So I really do not want to have to fiddle around with this for very much longer. I want to bring it straight to the scrapyard. Bring it in, just drop it off. I mean, really, what kind of parts can I take off this? I don't know. Made it home, safe and sound, no problems. The trailer held up nicely, very nice. I took the back roads though, just to be safe because it, uh, it is top heavy, but it's strapped down real good. I, I actually got out and I rearranged uh, the straps. So I have one going around the whole side like that and one on each side. So it's really not gonna tip back and forth like that. You can see there, it's really pushing down the plywood. Nice trailer, I like it. I'll hang on to it for a while. See what, uh, see what I can do with it. Maybe try and fix the tires. This printer though, let me know what you guys think about this. It's quite the thing, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't really want to have to hang on to it for very long. And, uh, but I will do some research on it. It's an IPF 825. It's a Canon. And sure, somewhere, someone somewhere must need some of these parts. Here's the, I already pulled this one out. That's the black. It's liquid. It's liquid, uh, ink. I don't know if I wasn't able to get them back down. But, oh, there we go. And then you got a whole bunch of them. Cayenne, magenta, yellow, and this other one. I don't know what that one is. Anyways. It spilled out everywhere. And I think it came, a lot of it came from here. This is like a maintenance cartridge. It's pretty heavy. It feels like it's, there's like some sponges in there. It's all saturated with ink. Maintenance cartridge. Interesting. Interesting stuff. That's moving something in there. I'm sure it's missing some pieces. It looks like there was some sort of roller that went right across here. Probably, that's probably for like the, the actual paper. So it must have been fed in through that way. This thing kind of moves out. It's like a slide. It's a pretty big printer. Biggest one I've ever come across. Hello, Ocelot. He's always checking things out. Every time I bring home stuff, he likes to sniff it. So I have the rest of the truck to go through. This is a busy day. Busy, busy day. Lots of good pickups. And I'm going to try and make a scrap load for tomorrow. But I have all the information for this thing. And I'll see what I'm going to do with it. So leave some comments. 
if you guys know anything about this thing and yeah, give me some advice on what I should do. I'm gonna hang on to this thing for the next couple days. So if you got, if you can um, leave a comment because what I'll do is I'll make the video real quick. I'll upload it and then I'll, I'll read your comments and look for, uh, see what you guys think. Anyways, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.